Many STEAM activities are happening every day during regular choice time. We don't necessarily think of them intentionally as STEAM activities, but I think the more we learn about what those principles are, we'll see that so many STEAM principles already taking place during play. The critical thinking and solving pr problems that are happening very often in preschool in a, an imaginative context of dramatic or imaginary play. A lot of collaboration, a lot of using vocabulary and words that will be their math, talking about what they're doing, building bridges, or they're using language of what they've done that is um, within STEAM language. Other principles in terms of their persistence and trying things again as they come apart and, and rebuilding something. The children are using a lot of observation. They're watching each other, they're also watching what they're doing, and they're exploring further and going deeper with their exploration. When children are playing, they're coming up with ideas, but Sometimes with young children it can kind of get stuck in a place. They may self ask their own questions, you know, oh I wonder now where I'm what I'm going to do next when I build this or how can I make it balance or what do you want to be so that you can interact with me and then how do we put these things together for example, all kinds of questions come up. But the teachers, they'll ask all the W questions, what, where are you taking this, how can you make this, um, so that fell down. What do you think you can try that'll make it stand up next time? So the questions are kind of a little bit like what you see the children doing with the blocks, propping things up or taking them further and scaffolding the play and that helps the play go to a, a deeper level or a higher level. You're seeing the children very organically playing. If I'm speaking about language and collaboration, well you certainly need to collaborate as you go forward into the grades and know how you're going to work with a friend to get to the result. The skill of collaboration, the skill of the vocabulary and the verbalization, all these are going to develop in a more formal way in the year, you know, into kindergarten or, or from threes to fours or from fours to kindergarten and beyond, they're going to become more formal and more structured. Um, clearly you can see how art concepts, the vocabulary of art or movement and all of those things are going to become more intentional and maybe more understood by the child as, oh, I built a bridge, I connected two things, or this is science. But in play, it's all there. It's just happening in a kind of a spontaneous fashion. Um, so I think in a way, they become more aware of their own learning. They're learning how to learn and become more aware of their, of their learning. And that's really the leap that fours make. I think they start to understand they actually study something. or And you can see it, perhaps, in one of the activities where um, Zoe, the teacher, is working in the orange room with a child creating a pattern. You can kind of see a piece of it there. Um, and of course, in kindergarten, they'll be doing patterns in a more they might understand. That's A, B, A, B. They didn't get that this time, even though they were making an, uh, you know, one leaf and another leaf, one leaf and another leaf. So it becomes more formal and more conscious, more intentional. Activities at this age, they have to be experiential. They have to be hands-on. They have to be fun. And they have to be with materials that are age appropriate and that there's not, okay, you, you can see for example there are games, there are matching games, but they're on the level that provide challenge. The child who's looking at matching up her cards is saying, oh I have these matches, she's lined them all up, now she's counting her matches, and then the next child says it's my turn. One child, he was working on his dog arena for a long time. Sometimes as they get older, they'll do this, they'll ask can they save something, they'll put it aside, build more the next time. Um, but it was kind of wonderful to see, he had a very clear idea of what he was doing as, as he was making his little dog arena, and then I think you see for a moment it falls down. What we didn't see was happen after, he kind of looked up and went, okay, and he started building again. And you know, buildings and blocks, they have that inherent, they're going to fall down try again, or it happens, or that's, let's see what else you can do. Those are very much a part of a preschool um, vocabulary, you know, the teacher encouraging, and then they internalize that, and they can do that themselves or with one another. Any child who's learned how to collaborate and has learned how to experiment, even simply by filling a cup of sand and seeing how, how much this particular object fills the next cup up, or that didn't do, you know, didn't fill up all the way because it's smaller, all of the concepts that they are building they take with them and you can see it kind of seamlessly going into kindergarten. Pretty much every skill 
that they're learning is going to be able to be carried forward, that certainly is going to just lead in and, and build towards how they become more complex the following year.